Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to assemble the Greenworks 1.2 gallon power washer, which is 2000 PSI. Let's just dive on in. Okay, so first locate, there's two bags here. One with some green parts and some screws, and another one with some, I guess these are probably going to be axles for the tires. We will set the axles and this black kind of nozzle aside, and we're going to open up the Ziploc bag with the green plastic pieces. You should have three green plastic pieces. And there's going to be six screws, four look the same, one looks similar with fine threads, and one has a washer on it. Um, first off, grab these four uh, screws or bolts here uh, with the really coarse threads on them. All right, grab the handle here. We're gonna install uh, this plastic piece here. Again, make sure all the logos are going to be facing up so we can actually see them when we use this. It's going to go basically underneath of the handle. So the handle is going to be sloping, I guess, you know, one direction. This is going to go underneath that slope. And you'll literally just kind of snap this on here. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's got little studs on the plastic and they will just slide into the handle. And you might need to kind of jiggle it around a little bit to get it lined up. All right, and then using a Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna screw these four into the frame here. And tighten them down, just so they're pretty snug because we don't want these to vibrate off. Okay, and at this point, you're gonna be left with three of these green pieces of plastic and we're gonna have two screws. We're gonna take the longer screw here with the washer on it. And we're gonna take this handle that's shaped like an owl. We're gonna put this weird wonky piece aside. And we're gonna take this little tiny kind of piece here as well. And we're gonna take the frame itself and you'll see on this side, on kind of I guess the, the front of it here, um, there's gonna be a side that has the two screws we just put in and it's gonna have a hole with a metal kind of washer around it. And then on this side, we're gonna also have a hole with a metal washer. We're also going to have just like an open hole in itself. We're gonna take this little piece and put it on first. And we're gonna put it on um, the side with just the, the washer. There's no secondary hole. We'll kind of just push that on there right here. Um, and then we're gonna take this handle. We're gonna have it facing up. Doesn't really lock on or anything. It'll just spin freely. Um, but directions say to put it facing up. And then we're gonna take this really long uh, bolt here with a washer and everything, we're gonna drop it into the hole. And then we're gonna take our screwdriver and try to line up on that bolt. And this might be a little challenging, but see, once you're screwdriver into the bolt, um, you can kind of see where the end of the, the bolt's gonna go. And then you can line it up and then uh, tighten it down. Again, we're gonna just, this is kind of flopping around. I'll just base it back up like the directions say before we tighten it all the way down. And next we're gonna grab this weird wonky piece of green plastic here, as I mentioned. Uh, it's going to have, if you look on the inside of it, uh, it's gonna have a hole, which is where this shorter little bolt's gonna go through. And then it's gonna have a stud, which if you look on the outside, it's got these ribs. You can't see the stud. Um, this stud, uh, it's going to go into this hole here, which I know it's hard to see on the camera. And then the screw part of this is going to face here. Um, but you want it to snap on such that it's, you know, locked into place. And then we'll take this bolt and put it in. Okay, so we've basically got kind of our top piece kind of all assembled. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, next, we're going to open this bag with this black nozzle. And it's gonna have another bag inside. And this bag is gonna have the axles and the cotter pens and the washers. And this is what all the parts are gonna look like for putting our tires on. Okay, and the way this is gonna go on is we're gonna take one tire. You'll notice there's an inside of the bunch of design work because it's all structural. And the outside's gonna be flat and pretty. Uh, we're gonna take one of these axles and we're gonna put the axle through the tire. Uh, next, we're going to flip it over, again, holding the axle into the tire with our hand. We're going to put one of these washers on, 
here. Then next, we're gonna take our machine and at the back of it where the wheels go, so let's carefully move the electrical out of the way. Uh, we're gonna slide this axle with the washer on it through uh, the body. Okay, and now once we have um, the axle and our washer and our wheel on here, we're gonna take one more washer here. We're gonna slide it on carefully. And then we're gonna take our cotter pen, which is this piece, and we're gonna snap it through that hole, just like that. So it just goes in to that first little notch on the cotter pen. Now our first tire is on. Second tire, we're gonna do the same thing. We will grab our wheel. We'll put our axle through, making sure the nice flat pattern's on the outside. We'll flip it over. We'll add one washer to this. We'll slide it into the machine here. We'll add the next washer and we'll slide the cotter pin through that hole. Okay, and next now we have our machine assembled with the wheels on it, which you could have done first, I did it second. Uh, you take our assembly that we have all assembled. We're gonna have this nice pretty logo here that says, you know, 2000 PSI, Greenworks on here. That's going to face the front of the machine. So where the tank is, this is the front of the machine. Um, if you're sitting in front of the machine like this, uh, you'll notice there's little studs here on the bottom, on the bottom at the back, and then also on the machine itself. You know, it's hard to see there's little holes here. All you've got to do is snap this in, and it will only go in one direction. And we're going to slide it in. Use your finger or a screwdriver to push them in. And carefully jiggle it in without pinching your finger in the hole, which I've done before. Do the other side. Push it all the way down. Might need to jiggle it just a little bit. Oh, okay. There's, so you see the first one popped out. Again, you might need to kind of push and pull on the rods, but you should see that it's sticking out itself. It's not flush, it's actually sticking out. And I missed one piece here, so there's a little kind of metal rack here. You can just turn around the machine now. And you'll see if you look up in here, there's two little holes, which I know are kind of already see on the camera. Um, these little, little wings here, they're gonna snap into that. So you just push in there, snap it in. And again, one side, put one side over this tab, stretch the other one, goes over the other side here. So I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, the little wire piece is gonna snap in. This is just to hold your hose. Okay, and then finally here, if you wanna hook up your hoses and everything, um, you know, you can cut these little white pieces off your hose. So on the left-hand side here, there's a green knob. This is where your water hose is going to screw into. Uh, on the right-hand side of the machine, there's a little plastic cap you need to take off first. So just kind of jiggle that off, take that off. Uh, and then this hose that comes with your sprayer, uh, both ends look the exact same. So literally you'll just plug in the hose and then tighten it on. So righty-tighty, get that all tightened down. And then if you want to take like your gun here, again, it has another plastic cap where it's going to kind of lefty-loosey spin it to kind of get it off and jiggle it off. And then again, I'll take the other end of the hose and then righty-tighty this onto the gun. And then if you want to put the wand together, we'll pop off this clear piece off the one end of the wand. Um, and as you'll notice, that piece that had the clear cap or the thread sticking out is going to screw onto the end of your gun. So you gotta kind of push it on and then spin the wand itself, not the gun, to get it to go in. And then finally, that black tip that we had in that bag with all our axle parts, it will snap uh, into the end of this. You kind of pull back the gold, the gold ring here on the gun, pull it back towards you, push the tip in, and then let go of the gold. 
and we're kind of all hooked up. Anyways, that's how you assemble the 1.2 gallons per minute, 2000 PSI Greenworks power washer. In a later video, I will do a review on this product and let you know what I think. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time.